seconds. This video will be telling you how the intruder option is box with box. Intruder is mostly used to brute force a target. Like in this video, I'll be telling you how to brute force a password field. First of all, let's start. Start for Check whether the intercept is on or off. It's on, okay. Go to Firefox. Uh, this is an extremely buggy web application. Here we know that the login ID is B, but we don't know the password here. So type anything here like A, B, C, D, E. Okay. And then click on login. The moment you click on login, the web tab opens here and you can see the password which was the login ID with the login ID and the and the, the login ID and the password which was entered was B and the password was A B C D here. But remember that A B C D is not the correct password. We have to find the correct password. So in order to brute force this, right click, send this request to intruder. Uh, switch off the intercept first. Yeah. And go to intruder, then go to positions. Like the highlighted fields are the fields which you can brute force. But we don't have to brute force each and every field, we have to brute force only the password field. So first of all clear and then select the password field. So here you can see we have selected the, selected the password field. The attack type is going to be sniper and the payloads, the payload set is one because only one payload that is the password field which we have selected because only one field we have selected which is the password field the payload type is going to be simple list and in payload option type anything like which you type anything like which you think can be the password like A B C D K B C D M N O P B U G anything type randomly so what we are doing here is that we are forcing the page with each set of password so now we can start attack start attack yeah the attack is started it is hitting the server with each password Okay, so you can see here is that the length is 4414 from KBCD to FBSDFIO and but the length has changed here 50 to 503 and the status code has also changed to 302 because there is a great variation in length here and the status code is also 302 so we can check this bug in the password field okay yeah okay go to b back the login id was b and the password type here b u g then see have type b u g cut and paste and click on login you can see we have logged into the application so this is how the pop intruder tool works thanks for watching and have a great day